As you can see from the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience getting Paragard, which is the copper IUD. If you're not interested in talking about birth control or female things, periods, trigger warning, I'm talking about bleeding from my hoo-ha, well then, you might wanna leave now while you still can. If you guys haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do makeup reviews, product reviews, honest first impressions, reactions, a little bit of everything. I just like to have fun up in here, but I recently got an IUD and I got a lot of questions about it on Instagram. I talked about it on my story. I feel like I got a lot of misinformation about it before I made the leap and decided to get one. So I kind of wanted to just talk about my experience so far because I think there are a lot of horror stories out there, but I haven't heard, I guess, a lot of like good experiences. Does anyone else have an IUD that's watching this and is considered Paragard, maybe you're thinking about getting one, maybe you had a really bad experience with one. I know that there are experiences all across the board, so I'm definitely not trying to discount anyone's experience. I know friends that have had terrible experiences with IUDs. I'm not trying to be insensitive to other people's experiences, but I do want to share my experience because it's my experience and it might help someone out there. So if you don't want to hear me talk about periods, not the video for you. <laughs> Alright guys, keep watching to hear my first impression and review so far of the Paragard IUD. First and foremost, I have to say I had a terrible experience with my insurance company and my doctor's office. Basically, my doctor's office like forgot to notice that I went out of network, and so they ended up sending me like a thousand dollar bill for Paragard. But luckily, my insurance company was amazing to work with, and they fixed it all. Even though my doctor's office royally screwed up, and I was not a very informed consumer at that point because I didn't really understand how insurance worked. Now I know a lot better. Okay, I'm a grown up. Okay, let's rewind a little bit. I've been off and on hormonal birth control since I was 16 because I was a dance and my periods were not regular. So I would go like three months without getting my period. Part of that turns out is because I had an eating disorder. <laughs> Fun fact, that'll mess everything up. But that was not known to my doctors or my parents at the time. So they were trying to regulate my periods with a pill, with the pill. So I was on just generic birth controls off and on, but then I would stop taking them because they were like annoying. I tried NuvaRing in college. My downstairs does not do good with like extra stuff. Like I can't use scented anything near that, which you really shouldn't anyway, but like I'm just very sensitive. So NuvaRing didn't work out for me. I was scared to do like depo shot and the arm implant because I've heard that you gain a lot of weight and of course I have history of disordered eating and eating disorders so I didn't want to do anything that would make me gain weight which isn't necessarily the case for everyone from what I understand it doesn't technically make you gain weight it just makes you crave food more which makes you gain weight so it's like kind of a toss up there but so we got married two years ago and right before we had moved to Florida, I had been off birth control for a year because I was tired of taking it. This is what always happens. I took it for a while, I got tired of taking it, so I stopped taking it and all my issues came back of like super irregular periods. Before we got married, it was like, okay, I want to make sure we're being smart with family planning. So I got on birth control again right before our wedding. Because I tried to do like the freaking rhythm method and <laughs> I can't, you guys, with natural birth control methods. It's too stressful. And I'm an entrepreneur and I sleep whenever I want. Like some days I wake up at 7 a.m. and some days I wake up at 10 a.m. With the rhythm method, you have to take your basal temperature every single day at the same time. And maybe if you have a regular schedule that works for you, but it did not work for me and it just wasn't wasn't reliable enough. So I got on hormonal birth control and I've been on hormonal birth control for the last two years of our marriage. I just started having a lot of issues with hormonal acne, but it was really, really bad and embarrassing and painful. And it was just not, not a thing. It did not go well. So I started looking at other options and one of my friends actually got the Paragard. She totally had a fine experience. And I had always heard about IUDs from like crazy trauma people have. I had a friend that got pregnant while she had an IUD and it caused a ton of complications. I've had people say they get misplaced and almost killed them. Like I was freaked out and I was scared to put something in my body that would be like. So the thing with Paragard is it's there's no hormones, it's just copper. I've always had very mild periods because I've always been on birth control. But even before I was on birth control, like my periods weren't bad. Like it wasn't like, you know how some people like can't 
function like they're in so much pain like I was never that person and I always had to go to dance class anyway so it didn't <laughs> I always just had to deal with it it really wasn't a big deal to me so when I heard that the side effects can be like increased um, bleeding increased cramps I was kind of like okay I'm like I can kind of deal with that right so my biggest fear was it hurting when it they put it in because I've heard people say like oh they have to manually dilate your cervix and it's really painful and blah 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 and it's the worst pain I've ever felt in my whole life like literally these are the things people are telling me and I'm like okay I'm never doing that cool so I basically wrote it off until my friend got it and she had no issues with it she loves it and I was like that might be a good option because one I was gonna have to switch insurance and I didn't know how coverage was gonna be for like women's health care and how much that was gonna cost so I wanted to get something where I was like good to go I made an appointment at my well woman's exam and we talked about it and my doctor said I would be a good candidate for it so I definitely recommend talking to your doctor in depth and being like 100% honest a copper IUD doesn't regulate your period so that is something that I'm still kind of worried about but I'm a lot healthier now than I was when I was dancing professionally because I'm like eating <laughs> It's like so bad um yeah so I think I think we should be good when was that like six weeks ago I got my IUD I was super 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 nervous you guys but I was also excited to be off of hormonal birth control because I was having so many issues with my hormones and with my skin and I just felt like my mood was always like up and down and up and I do deal with like anxiety and high functioning depression so my moods are up and down a lot but like having the hormonal aspects thrown in there didn't help especially because I was really bad at taking the pill also I didn't even say that I was terrible at taking the pill you guys I couldn't remember to take it so I figured that this would be my safest bet because the copper IUD is the most effective form of birth control and it lasts for like 10 years which is kind of cool not that we're gonna wait that long to have kids but 10 years is a long time get my office to check to make sure I'm covered which they totally messed up but it's fine we worked it out I'm still a little bitter about it but we got all of the boxes checked we made my appointment now after my exam she had looked at my cervix hole to see if it was like good I don't know what that means but she was like hey you probably will need some help because you've never had a baby and I'm like okay cool so she gave me um, a prescription that is supposed to help soften and like slightly dilate you I'm not entirely sure what it does you can ask for that probably I don't know I didn't even have to ask for it she offered it and my doctor is the only person at the practice that was taught to actually numb the cervix for insertion so they use like a little shot I think it's lidocaine is that a shot it was something in, an, in a syringe and that was honestly I think one of the worst parts so they gave me this pill whatever you're technically supposed to do it during your period but we were worried about my insurance plan running out so we did it early just in case there was any issues I go in it's like 8 a.m. I'm super nervous they make you take four ibuprofen before like so like the highest dose and the first thing they do is like check the size of your uterus and like measure it and I didn't know that and that was the worst part I think so they go in they put the thing on you they crank it open and then um <laughs> This is such a weird video. They gave me the shot to numb the cervix and then that was like just like a pinchy pinch feeling like oh like Botox but in your hoo-ha but it's that like deep feeling that's like not external. I don't know how to explain it. Y'all know what I'm talking about? So yeah we got that um squared away and then they have to measure you. Measure your uterus and I guess they have a tool for that. I don't know. I wasn't looking. I was nervous. They just stick it up in there. And to me, <laughs> this looks so weird. This is so TMI. I'm so sorry, everyone. To me, I could feel like a, whoop, like a, like it, it went through like a little tunnel, like, like where it was like, nah, like you could feel it. And that was the worst part because I don't think anything's ever been in there from the outside like that that's when you get like cramping like it just like cramps up so cramps up when they do that and that was the worst part and I was like not gonna lie it was not great it was not good um I have a pretty high pain tolerance and I was like mm. but like after like 10 seconds I was like okay I'm good. I'm good. It's just uncomfortable. So that was like a shocky. It, I was expecting the whole time when people were saying, oh my gosh, it hurts. It, it's so bad. It's the worst pain ever. Um, I was expecting like sharp pain because to me, sharp pain is the worst pain ever. Like when you drop something on your foot and it like swells up. Like I was thinking like sharp pain, like it's going to feel like, ugh, like a injection, but like achy pain. 
So it really was not bad. Um, I mean, I've never had a baby, so I can't compare it to that, but I'm sure it hurts way less than that. Basically, it was just this like really bad period cramps. That's what it felt like, just really, really bad cramps. So they measure it, and then she's like, okay, like now we're gonna put it in, and then they do it, and it was like over like that. Like the actual insertion of it was way easy. Like it, I couldn't even feel that part. It was like over. Um, the worst part was the measuring it for me personally. I would be interested to hear if anyone else felt that way. I have a really good friend that had a terrible experience getting hers in and she passed out and they had to literally knock her out to put it in. So I'm sure everyone's had very different experiences. I drove myself home. I used a heat pad like and make sure I kept up with the ibuprofen for like the next 24 hours. I really didn't have any crazy side effects. I had a little bit of bleeding um, and because I had just stopped taking hormonal birth control, I started my period like right after that even though I wasn't supposed to get it for like another two weeks but I think it's because my hormones were all messed up so it was a little heavier than it normally was but you know if you've been on birth control for years you pretty much like stop getting your period like it gets really really light really have not had a bad experience since then. I just started my period again today. I have had a little bit worse cramps and a little bit worse bloating than I normally do, but I'm like definitely still functioning. I'm fine. The last few days I have been kind of crampy and had spotting, but so far so good, you guys. Overall, I would recommend this to anyone that's looking for a non-hormonal method. You know, obviously I'm not a doctor, but it's worked out for me so far. I will update you guys later. Maybe I'll do like a six month check-in or like a one year check-in if you guys are interested in that and um, you can always dm me and ask me questions on instagram or you can leave me a comment below here and i'll try to answer them i just wanted to share my personal experience because overall i've heard terrible negative things about iud's and i wanted to share what happened for me and i really had a good experience easy recovery no ongoing pain it's just pretty normal which i feel like isn't that cool so that's why you don't hear about stories about people who have good experiences like you hear about the crazy bad ones where people like almost die and which I'm sure are out there but I think it's like that with any procedure or medication so there you have it all right I'll catch y'all next time peace out Girl Scout